Hi folks, I'm Diamond Dave Gleesman. I work at Bates RV. We're just east of Tampa on I-4 at exit 14. Mr. and Mrs. Bates have been here about 20 some years and we've got a great bunch of trailers here and I'm going to show you a little bit about the Jayco J-Flight G2. Now Jayco is a company that's been in business for 42 years in Middlebury, Indiana. The same family that started the company still owns a company great company. This is the Jayco G2. What I want to tell you about it is, look at the aerodynamic styling from here, cut up to the top, so when you're towing this vehicle, the air is going to rush right over top of it. You're going to get better towing mileage. It's built with a nice steel I-beam, 5 8 decking, ton and groove on the floor. Uh, the sides, 24 thousandths aluminum grade, excellent grade, nice, shines up really good. Uh, R7 insulation in the walls, the floors, and the ceiling. So you've got good insulation. Uh, two by two wooden trusses all along your sides. It's going to make for a nice sturdy trailer. Uh, your roof, I can't get up there, but I want to show you about it. It's 3 8 plywood decking, fully walk-on roof with a rubber membrane covering it. Easy to clean, easy to repair if there's any problems. It's a great trailer. Let me show you some of the storage in this unit, folks. This is great for a travel trailer. If you can look through there, it goes all the way through to the other side. So fishing poles, lawn chairs, anything you might want to take, you can get in there. If you get in trouble with the wife, it could be a doghouse for you, sir. So just think about that. Go on with me this way. 30 pound tanks on the front. Going to give you a lot, of, a lot of life with your propane. Here's the other side of the unit where you have the crawl through or the story space. If you'll notice on each corner, it's a jack, stabilizer jack. There's four of them. Uh, they're three quarters inch socket that would fit it on an electric drill. You could just simply buzz that thing down and buzz it up at the campground. You look like a real professional. That's another nice feature of them. Second door opens into the bedroom. So if you ever need to get out in a hurry or just want to go into the bedroom, that's perfect. It'll work fine for you. This is the refrigerator back service panel. This is a water heater, six gallon gas or electric water heater. With Jayco, you get a 75 plus gallon fresh water capacity. You're going to be able to really run a long ways if you carry water with you. You wouldn't even have to hook up someplace just to use it. It would be great. Now, let me point out this. This is a railing for a gas grill, propane. Quick disconnect fitting is down under here, so you can put the awning out. You'll be able just to use the, the grill right under the awning. Can you picture that? A nice campground with that awning out. I think it would be wonderful. Use propane off your front tanks. You don't have to worry about those little green containers. Beautiful way to go. 15 inch tires, tandem axles. Going to be great to pull. You're going to like all that. Potable water goes right in here. Here's your electric plugs underneath your awning. The awning is a 12 volt uh, automatic awning with adjustable pitch. So if it rains, it's going to run off one end of it. I think that's a great way to go also. Your spare tire is under here. This is a manual crank to get your tire down. It's going to work really great for you if you have a flat. I think personally I just would do that or I just recommend a road service. That's the easy way. By the way, road service, Jayco has the first year free. You can get that all to your warranty on a Jayco product. That's really good. Most manufacturers just one year. Jayco, two years. Now back in the back, you got this beautiful window. If you want to go to a nice campground, say you've got a nice lake behind you, look at that. You can sit in there, watch out, look, look and see what the scenery is. Your electric plug is here, your water hose is here, and here's a ladder to get up on your roof. Very important to get up there once a year, clean it off, make sure everything's okay, caulk anything that needs it. Very deep slide out. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but it's a very deep slide out, and I think you're going to see that when we go inside. So let's take a break and just go inside. Hi folks, we're back inside the unit now. I want you to see this beautiful cherry burnished wood for the cabinets. Now Jayco employs a lot of Amish and Mennonite carpenters. They're excellent at what they do. If you look at the fit and finish around the ceiling and the edges, it's perfect. Wonderful workmanship. Think about this trailer. You've come from a long day. You've just parked in a campground. Look at these two beautiful chairs. The rockers, you can set in them. Table between the two for your drink. You can look that way towards the TV. You can just relax and take it easy. You've had a hard day. If you've got somebody with you, you want a place for them to sleep, you have this couch right here that makes into a bed for two. So that works well. And this table here is a freestanding dinette. Most people really like that. 
Great for dining, easy access in and out for folks. Plus it's great for games, stuff like that. I think you would really enjoy that. If you'll notice the cabinetry goes all the way around the woodwork. Here's a nice 22 inch TV with a nice surround system. You got a speaker there and a speaker there. And behind me, there'll be speakers in the bedroom. Look at this nice countertop. Isn't that beautiful? Laminate countertop, three burner range with a 9,000 BTU big burner in it. Propane oven, you can still fix the turkey. Maybe just a little bit smaller than usual, but you can still do it. Microwave oven to heat up anything you want. Hood for your range. Nice refrigerator. Look at the size of it, how nice it is inside. Two doors. There's for your refrigerator. Here is for your freezer. You got a lot of room in there. This is a nice Norcold. It's adjustable, so you can adjust it to however cold you may want it. That's a great way. Here's a look at this a pantry. All the tall cereal boxes will go in there. You've got a pantry here. You've got storage down here underneath, too. And there's your water heater. So you can get to that very easily if you need to. Nice flooring, heated floor or for the ducts. The duct works for the heater and the floor. The uh, ducts for the air conditioner are in the ceiling. Lighting, crank up antenna. Uh, moving on, let's go back here and take a look at the bathroom facilities. In the closet here is a nice stool room, a lot of room, and it's, it's ducted for, for your heat, your air. Here's a shower, stand up shower, beautiful unit with a skylight overhead. And then you've got the nice sink out here with a mirror and a medicine cabinet. And a lot of storage down here too. Now, moving on into the bedroom. You've got an RV queen here in this mattress. Shirt closets that hang beside it. Overhead storage above. A space for the TV on the left if you want an extra TV for the bedroom. But one of the nicest things I think about this unit is, especially for storage, it raises up the bed. It's on gas struts. All this storage you can access from here. Easily this front part, the other storage you can access from either in here or on the outside that I showed you previously. So a lot of storage in this travel trailer. A lot of ways you can use this. It's going to be a great unit. Now can you just picture yourselves with this trailer? A mountain stream underneath the awning, having a nice drink. You can go to bed here afterwards. I need you to come to Bates RV. I'm Diamond Dave Gleesman. We've got over 400 units here. We're dealing. Come and see me. I know you're going to like the deal we're going to give you. Talk to you later.